Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So this is a vlog video on the CNTC in Edmonton. Hey, good morning everybody. It is 5.37. I'm almost ready to go here. I'm just going to grab my holder thing from my phone here. And then I'm off to the CNTC. Sorry, it's all black. It's morning. So we're just going to enter here quick. Yeah, grab some things. So today, I'm just going uh, for the shopping event. And then get to see everybody and do a little bit of shopping. So I'm super excited about that. Alright, well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm here with Carrie and she's going to show me, what are you showing me, what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to do a film All right. with uh, Universal number 12. Cool. How's your class go yesterday? Oh, it went really well. You have a lot of... With students? Two students. But it was perfect for my first one. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad. Did you feel my presence there? <laughs> yes. It was so nice. It was just... I wasn't nervous. Like, people say, oh, you you were nervous, right? Like, just in, in talking afterwards. And I'm like, no, I wasn't nervous. It just came naturally? Yeah. Because I, I know the product. I love the product that much where it's easy to share. Okay. Gel on you. Okay. So I had to put the, I put a base coat down first, so I used the rubber base coat. Okay. And I'm just going to do a slip layer. Mm-hmm. Holy man, I'm trembling like an earthquake all of a sudden. So the still bottle builder? Yeah. This is the universal, the universal See better than I do. Well, it's easier to shape on someone else than yourself. Right? I know. Yes. Oops, I'm being a bad camera person again. You got a nice ski skirt going on. Oh yeah, I got that down packed. <laughs> I like the magic gel forms. They're my go-to. I wonder if I should try them. Are they expensive? Actually, no. I think they're like 18 bucks a roll. Yeah. I love that color. It goes on just like butter. Pretty much. Hi. I never thought about going around the cuticles like this before. Well, especially the and then you don't colors. get it bulky. Yeah. yeah, I'm not done yet. No, this is yours. Okay, yeah. you're shopping.
Hi guys, so I've done a little bit of shopping already. Things have kind of died down now so I can actually show you some of the tables that are here and vendors. So let's flip you around and let's take a look. So as soon as we come in, we got Fusion going on. Then we got the Fusion Girls demoing. Carlia. And then we have Clear Jelly Stamper here. And then we got Beamy Beauty Box. Then we have Combined Insurance here. Then Wildflowers and Ugly Duckling products are here. And then we have Paul with Glam Up Nails. Got some pedicures going on. And then we have Nail Couture here. Then we have Light Elegance products here. And Darcy's doing a demo. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't feel nothing. It's, uh, yeah, you're not trying to prep the nail with it, and you're not trying to prep Which it. bit is no. that? That was the preppy bit. Oh, okay. I've never used it. Oh, I love this. What is Max yeah. wearing? I use it at a lower speed, about five to 7,000 RPM, and a really light touch just to take that cuticle tissue off. Oh, okay. Not the, um, and it does have a really, really and, nice job. Yeah, so if we get the dust off there, you can kind of see. A little better, that it really gets that beautiful tissue off the nail plate. Yeah, look so at that. Just use it around the proximal and lateral holes. Mm. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna finish my walk around now. <laughs> and then Magic Gel is here. We have Lilia and her brother. So these guys, I've never heard of these guys before, but I got some goodies from them too. Ego Esta is here, and I gotta show you this. Aren't these beautiful? And then we have Bio Sculpture here. Hi, Hi ladies. <laughs> Guys, so I'm here with Lilia from Magic Gel, and she's going to show us a little demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, the new generation of paper thin one coat coverage gel paints from Magic Gel. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a beautiful ombre with three. You can do four, five colors. How many you can fit in there is your preference. So I'm going to start with the Hot Paris, and you can see how easy it is to apply in a nice even coat. Okay, now we're gonna cure that for 30 seconds. I'm going to use Mint Love on top and as you can see the coverage is so amazing that it covers my first layer pretty much completely. So I have to make it thin in order to make sure that ombre looks very good and flawless. And then with my amazing ombre brush, I'm gonna go Sorry. flat and make that amazing ombre happen. <laughs> like this. And I can um, I keep doing that until I have no gel left under my brush. And that what gives you that perfect seamless look. So let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first one. So nice. Perfect. We will yeah. flash cure for ten sec. My <laughs> Then I'm gonna take the blueberry macaroon, even though they all look like macaroons to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna go on the very tip, on the free edge. Again, thin. 
and again amazing ombre brush That's what I've got now. Uh, I'm gonna flash here this. Okay, so the next step will be to top coat. Unless you want to do something else, you can do even a fourth color on a side and blend it inwards. Or in my case, I'm going to top coat it. Look at this with the top coat, it looks amazing. Just even, even. Texture white and magic gel brushes allow you to make those gorgeous real life <laughs> uh, flowers just uh, in seconds. It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I'm already yeah, sold. This is a very useful product. Just a little bit though, so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the key point here is to pick up the gel just on the tip of the brush because um, you want to have it almost semi-transparent, closer to the center of the flower. This will the petal looks best. Even curing, uh, we can do the center. Just make sure you do not touch the petals. And for my center, I'm gonna use this one, one of the new glitters, Cosmic Strawberry, the name for this one. And I'm gonna put it in the center like that. Do you need to re top coat after? No, no need to do top coat after that. So the glitter or tack free? Uh, it will have a slight dispersion layer, which after curing almost disappears, but I will still wipe it, you will see. Yeah, okay, but it's not going to stain, it will stay exactly where you place it. Um, I will also add a few details with the black, just to connect my flowers. And this is universal black, very pigmented one, coat coverage as well. Like this. Like so. And this is enough for me, so I will cure this design. It's not beautiful. A Darcy with from Light Elegance now, and she's gonna do something really quick on my nail. So we always cleanse first, remove any dirt and oil from the nail plate. Yeah, so, I do. It's on my mom and my aunt regularly. And yeah, it's so hard to figure it out. Oops. So, this is a little of our ideal weight. Okay. I don't have that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I have like everything. <laughs> Uh, let me go this way. All right, so I'm just—I have the black brush here, and I'm just gonna kind of roll this off onto the nail, punch it out into the wipe, then I just kind of press into it and lift and pull. And you can kind of, you know, play with it until you like the look of your petal, however you want your petal to be. Maybe you don't want it to go quite that far. 
can oh, tuck it good. back up in there. So you can oh. add some texture to it just by like pulling some of the product back out. So we'll just grab another little little dollop of it. So your center, center petal really always is the larger. Mm -hmm. And then you come over to the side, just kind of roll that off. Did you teach yourself this one or did someone? Just playing, yeah, just playing. And, and the ideal weight is one of those, it's a builder gel. So when you agitate it, if you keep moving it, it thins the viscosity temporarily. So if you want it to be thinner and um, softer looking, you just keep touching it and agitating it. If you want it to be thicker and more textured, you limit the amount of time you touch it and the amount of um, touching that you do. So I'm just gonna pull this in. I'm gonna have to get me some now. I love uh, this stuff. Because you can also use this kind of like you do perfect white. If you thin your free edge way down, you can do a French with this just on the surf um, 3D yeah, flower. Because not everyone not likes bulky or Exactly. Because they pick. Gonna, or it catches on things or pulls their hair or something, yeah. right? So you can create a nice low profile um, 3D effect. It's, it's fun. I bet okay. you you could bit, mix some buttercream in with that for colors. Yes, absolutely. If you do it, because you gotta take me. <laughs> you can do, well, yeah, I've done it before. Oh, have you? Yeah. Buttercreams don't have to be top coated either. If you want to use them as a 3D, you can. So you can just lay them in there to give your flowers some. Is this cure too sticky? It does have a sticky layer right now, yes. And we don't have to worry about um, we don't have to worry about that because when we're done we'll just give it a little bit. I'm gonna have to put like a Swarovski in there when I get home later. <laughs> does it not suit it? Like it would. Oh, absolutely suits it. <laughs> Free edge. And we'll add a little drop of oil. You see how dry my knuckles are getting again? My poor eczema wants to like get me lately. Really just drinking it all up, huh? Oh no. So here's what she did. Oh, it does not want to focus. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? And let us see your nails now. Gotta see the queen's nails. <laughs> well, it's true. You get some moisture on them. They're so dry and oh. Well, it doesn't help. It's so dry in here too. Well, I'm um, yeah, and you know, if you're washing your hands all the time, it just dries everything out. Look at those aren't they gorgeous? Fun watercolor look. They've grown out a little bit. But... Oh, that's okay. It happens. There you have it, guys. So thanks for doing that, Darcy. Alright, so the CNTC is over. Our time is done. We had a fantastic day. We seen everyone we wanted to see. We got lots of stuff. One free stuff. Yay. Yeah, we go on some we both want something free. Um yeah, it was a really great day. Yeah. Despite only getting to go one day, it was really good. So now we're gonna head home and start saving for 2020. <laughs> yeah. So to all of you watching this, uh, thanks for joining in on the video. And in the next few days, I'll have a haul up from everything that I've got. So yeah, thanks for joining.